Hey there, Virgo! Welcome to your January 2023 uh, general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we'll do here, um, as usual actually, we will um, divide or separate your being <laughs> into sections so it is a bit easier to understand the messages. What we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the months of January 2023 for the sign of Virgo before we then go into your emotional core, see what if there's love coming in, if there's trauma or pain that can go, that kind of stuff, before we then lastly move on to opportunities. Now opportunities for the most part are about what sustains you financially, but since finances or money is not a spiritual currency, Everything we're looking at with regards to opportunities um, also comes from the angle to, to um, see how you understand your life also from a spiritual point of view. Right? It will be all much easier once we actually get started. Now this month I have decided not to use any cards. As a matter of fact, I'm using galaxy balls. And what they are is they're sort of crystal balls, but they have resin in it. And these resins, when I actually shift them, um, look to me like galaxies and allows me to connect deeper with your star sign. Uh, it makes it easier to read. And I have two of them and they are, as usual, um, different from one another. So what I have here and I explain them to you both because at this point in time I don't know which one I'm going to use for the reading and sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm choosing one and then the guys say, oh, for this part use this one because I only work here. So what I have is, first, uh, first and foremost, I have these two. The first one is the dolphin one. Really beautiful. And the dolphin one is about perception, funnily enough. It's about how you see the world and how, this, how the world sees you. Well, so should I pick this one? Anything you hear me say, anything you hear, you, you hear me share that the guides are giving me is to be seen from an angle where you're going to go like, where am I in the scheme of things? How do I understand this if I'm not taking myself out, but look at it in the scheme of things? So that would be the dolphin, guys. And then the other one that I have is the dragon galaxy ball. And dragons are associated with water, with the element water, but also associated with the, with the color gold, which is a conduit. So, in other words, this crystal ball here, um, galaxy ball as I call them, are all about within. Right? So anything you hear me say, should I, should I be drawn to using this one? Um, reflect on it and hear it from an inner point of view, right? From a very personal point of view. So, these are the two options. Um, let's have a look which ones or which one um, is a bit more forthcoming at this point in time. And it is the dolphin one, right? So, where are you in the scheme of things? With regards to the overall energy, what I'm seeing is, is that you're quite detached from things. Now, we are here to learn detachment, but it doesn't quite help you this month. What you cannot do this month is to just step back all the way. You can step back a little, but only to reflect on your life, right? Where are you in the scheme of things? But if you want to really get shit done, really, really important, Leos, if you want to get shit done, Virgos, I meant Virgos, if you want to get shit done, then understand that you have to be in the thick of it. If it's more about confronting what isn't working than trying to remove yourself from it. If you then feel that I confronted it, it is not worth my time, by all means. But the energy here is to be very proactive in January. Really, really important Virgos, okay? So let's look at your um, emotional core um, in the months of January 2023. 
It's hard because I, my, my brain still wants to say 2022. It's 2023. And interestingly enough, I am no longer drawn to the resin, to the planets. I'm drawn to the iceberg under the surface of the water where the, the dolphins at this point in time swim. So this is about understanding while you're looking at the scheme of things, when it comes to your emotions, what already sits there that has happened to you that now makes you feel inadequate, that makes you feel I'm not trusting anybody any longer, right? So the point is with regards to your emotional core, this is more about releasing old stuff than manifesting new stuff. Because you have the, the iceberg, for want of a better word, and I'm massively drawn to it, the iceberg wants to be elevated. Right? There are parts of the iceberg that want to melt away. Right? And also there are parts of the iceberg, obviously this is a, a galaxy ball, but you go to, to, um, to the ocean, and you'd go a couple of meters and you can see fake all. So the point is, because the depiction here is light and bright and colorful, January is the time for you when it comes to acknowledging your emotions to no longer hide. Share how you feel. Maybe it's the months for you, um, Virgos, to go uh, for a treatment, you know, have a, have a, um, a soul retrieval, you know, get, 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 a, get a treatment done, whatever you feel like doing, get some help. Um, if you feel it's hard for you. But this is not necessarily about moving on. This is about healing and moving on knowing that it's called the concept of the wounded healer for a reason. You will always be a deep person. So what you cannot expect is to just heal everything, right? You can let go a lot of, of, of a lot of things, but, you know, you will uh, continue to be a tad affected by what happened to you in life. And it makes you a stronger person rather than a weaker one. Okie dokie. So let's look at opportunities for the month of January 2023 for the sign of Virgo. You are watching Thomas the Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, please buy me a coffee. You can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium. Thomas, that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium. Thomas. Let's have a look at opportunities. The opportunities, but that's also general, gen, January in, in um, well, January, January in general. <laughs> um, there isn't all that much happening here in the month of January 2023 for the sign of Virgo. So what I'm not getting here is massive new opportunities. What I'm getting is um, the way this shows itself to me is like digging yourself out from a snow, from, from an avalanche that is on top of you. So what that means is when it comes to opportunities, um, before you really move on, you know, um, understand that you carry stuff with you from back in the day, it will be with you. Doesn't work that way. When you are looking for new opportunities, look at them as new beginnings. So where are you in the scheme of things? In the scheme of things, it is time for you to not just continue what you're doing, but maybe progress. Maybe, you know, chase uh, um, a new position, should they be available there, right? Or if you're self-employed, you know, maybe there's another, another element to you that you haven't explored. Maybe this is the year where you study more so you have a bigger toolbox, right? The point is, what is not recommended is to just keep going with what you already have. But understand when you want new things, you have to first learn to let go of old stuff. In any case, that's all I got, dear Virgos. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope I see you in February. Please like, subscribe and share widely. Much appreciated. Bye-bye.